you know, um, some parents are like, oh, um, my child does not eat, my child does not want anything, but when I'm eating, the child wants to, you know, pick from my plate. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another episode of Toke's Kitchen. My name is Toke and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do with a faucet eater. If this is a video you'd like to watch, I'd like you to stay tuned and um, keep watching. And if this is your first time um, viewing my channel, I'd like you to subscribe, you know, comment, share, and like my videos. Okay, um, let's just um, dive right in to the video. So I've got some tips here for you as a parent if you're dealing with a faucet eater. So my number one tip is going to be... Um, Stick to a routine. Yes, sticking to a routine. If you're a parent, you need to stick to a routine if you have a fussy eater. In the sense that if you're, you know, eating your breakfast around 9 a.m. and having snacks around 4 p.m., so you should stick to that routine so that the child can know that, okay, when it is 9, I get my breakfast, I get to eat my breakfast, and when it is 4 p.m., I you know get to eat my snack so that the baby will be hungry around that time you know the body will have some food around that time when you stick to a routine and um, the second tip I have here is eating as a family I know maybe most times most um, some of the parents one is one parent is working and the other one is you know staying at home or both are working but I'm very sure that there will be a day whereby you guys stay together as a family you know to enjoy and do some things together so for that period of time you can as well eat with your baby you know when the child sees that you're picking from your food like you're from your plate and eating the child also will be eager to you know have a taste of that food so it also helps the child to increase the way they eat and the way they you know ask for food and when they see that oh my mom is eating my dad is eating everybody will together you know they're putting something in their mouth you know children are always curious and they they try new things you just think that they are they don't understand but they they learn very fast so let's go to another um, one not giving an option yes not giving an option in the sense that when a child is taking pap, for example, and you prepare a pap for the child, and you know the child is not taking that pap, and you just feel like, okay, let me just change to something else. I am sure when we were younger, our parents don't give us options. Yeah, and I'm sure your parent wouldn't give you an option also. It is whatever we have, then we eat. You understand? So when you're not giving these kids options, they know, okay, this is necessary for me to eat this meal because if I don't eat this meal, I will go hungry. You understand so not giving them an option will make them take the food and you just keep you just have to keep trying you understand for them to be able to take this food okay another another one is um, introduce self eating yes introducing self eating babies start to eat from the um, age of six months That's when you introduce solids to babies. So you need to just make them, you know, some parents will be like, oh, my child is going to be messy. My child will mess up. You know, um, some parents are like, oh, um, my child does not eat. My child does not want anything. But when I'm eating, the child wants to, you know, pick from my plate. So this is a very good idea to make the baby by introducing them to their own you know plate make them another point is introduce self-eating yeah what do i mean by introduce self-eating this is when you allow your toddler your baby your kid your child eat their food on your own yeah i know it can be messy yeah it can be really messy but you just have to you know make them eat on their own it makes them develop you know um, their motor skills 
makes them know colors, shapes, and things like that. So you just have to make them eat on your own. And definitely, you start, you know, to introduce solid to a child when they are six months of age. So from six months, you can start, you know, giving them like um, a carrot, you know, boiled carrot, you know, to just get something to match in their mouth and on their tongue like that and I'm sure by eight months the child would have actually developed that skills and how to put the food in the child mouth so you just have to make them eat on their own and I've seen so many parents say oh my child does not eat my child does not want anything my child cries a lot he doesn't want anything in his mouth at all this is a very good time for you to introduce a self-eating method to the child so they can learn to put things in the mouth and from there you know they start to eat different things and another point is get rid of distraction yes get getting rid of distraction a lot of people will be like oh when i play music that is when my child eats a food when when i play you know nursery rhymes and when my child is watching videos I have to do something for the child to eat you need to get rid of distraction you don't have to force the child to eat you just have to let it go naturally and I know it can be hard but you just have to get rid of distraction so the child can concentrate the child knows okay this is eating time I need to stay focused and eat my food so um Another one is offer varieties of food early. Yes, you need to offer varieties of food. You know, if your child does not take pancake, give the child bread. You know, introduce varieties of food. And even I've seen, I've seen some parents give their child stew, like a very little portion. In, they just put it in their mouth, in the corners of their mouth, just. The Yorubas, yeah, they do that a lot. Like they just put it in the corners of their mouth and just so that the child can eat. But you know, you just have to introduce varieties of food, you know, bananas, avocado, different food, rice, mashed rice for uh, a child that cannot chew, you know, that cannot chew yet. If your child cannot chew yet, you just have to give them mashed food and make sure there's a lot of you know finger food for the child i'm going back to finger food for that child that cannot match food in their mouth so you just have to introduce a lot of varieties of food for this child to you know have a sense of taste colors you just have to you know diversify give them different 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 foods different 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 foods just for them to so the last point I've got here is patience. Yeah, patience during this phase. It's actually not easy to feed a fussy or a picky eater. It is really not easy. But as a parent, you just have to be patient. I know some mothers they have a lot of time to feed their babies. While some will tell you that I just want the child to just eat under 20 minutes. I've got a lot of things to do and blah blah blah. But really, you just need to be patient because even these children are going through their own stages like I mean the child might be teething or the child might be ill so we just have to have patience feeding those children because that is the most important one if not we'll just be tired and you know stuff like that so we just have to be patient enough to feed them so guys this is gonna be the end of my video and um, thanks for staying by and watching this video and i'd like you to subscribe share and comment like my videos thanks until next time bye